good beautiful monday morning all my inspirational tea sippers this is shantara welcome back to my channel you guys i pray that you are well doing amazing feeling amazing holding on to hope and faith you guys <laughs> holding on to hope and faith you guys because <laughs> when uh, you ain't got nothing else baby hope and faith is all you can cling to trusting in the lord because he will bring you through <clears throat> you guys i think i posted i don't think i know i posted in my community tab about the part of the scripture when you inspiring and when you are um motivating encouraging other people if you only speak about the positive things if you only talking about encouraging things if you're only speaking of encourage if you are listening to somebody, to somebody and they only tell you positive things you better get up out of that thing you better get up out of that thing you better get up out of that thing because you cannot only speak beautiful wonderful things without talking about the hard things that that are necessary for us to grow and learn you know what i'm saying so in the bible proverbs what was it proverbs 16 and 12 if i'm not mistaken where it talks about um like a dog that returns to his own vomit so does a fool who returns to his foolishness right and so what the bible is talking about in that scripture is saying that a lot of the times God brings us out of certain situations that we cause we cause ourselves to be in or certain situations that we're manipulated into. Not all of it is your fault. There are certain situations that we are manipul manipulated into, that we are lied into because we don't know the heart of man. And because we don't know the heart of man, we can only believe what somebody is telling us and we can only believe the actions of what somebody is doing until we find out otherwise. So not all of it is our fault, but we have to be we have to be wise enough and mature enough to be able to take accountability and to know when it is your fault. You know what I'm saying? And so when when the Bible is talking about like a dog that returns to his own vomit, so is a fool who goes back to his own foolishness or returns back to his own folly right now in this very moment i am in a situation i am in a proverb 60 12 situation that's that a fool has returned like a dog i have returned back to my own vomit based on some things that i believe based on some things that i heard based on some things that I, in my life as i'm looking over a lot of the choices and decisions that i've made this is not the first time that I have returned back to my own vomit. <laughs> I have to be open, honest, and transparent because that is what is going to save the set the captives free. When I, my very first relationship, dealing drugs, he was dealing drugs. I got into dealing drugs, you know what I'm saying, with him. And, you know, he was just this big time dope dealer. We had all of this money. We had all of this money, y'all. We had all of the finest cars. We had... I never wanted for anything. You know what I'm saying? He paid for my medical school. He paid for it cash money. He's the one who bought me my first car. Like all of it on the outside looked like glitz and glam. But he continuously cheated on me. There were a lot of women who was after this man for his money. And so he would cheat on me all the time. And so every time that I gathered up enough strength to leave, like a dog, I would return to my own vomit like a fool it's a foolish foolish it's foolish of me it was foolish of me and then what finally ended it is when you know he found out that i eventually cheated on him back once with a guy that i worked with and um i ended up finding him dead seven days later diana's daddy once i found out that he was on drugs well he finally admitted it once he finally admitted that he was on drugs, he was addicted to meth. I believed that this person really wanted to get help because that's what they conveyed to me. I want to get help. I want to be free from this. I want to be able to live a freeing life. And of course they use, you know, Bible and scripture and he used his faith and all that to, to, to continue on with me. And so we would break up. We would fight. We would break up. We would fight. We would break up and we'll fight like a dog. I would return back to my own vomit until it was done, until I had enough. Enough was enough. 
I don't know what happened at the end, but we ended up breaking up and I had enough strength to eventually leave and just break that thing off. You get tired. Nobody can force you to get out of something until you are tired. When you are tired, you will leave. That's why I don't understand when people try to force you. You shouldn't be with him. You shouldn't be with them. You need to let go of your family. You need to t tell your family no. You need to let go of this. You need to let go of that. You can only be an example. You can only give them words of wisdom. You can only give people words of encouragement. But at the end of the day, no one is going to leave a situation until they're tired. And that's just the bottom line. So after that, okay, boom. I get married. Get married. I was manipulated into a marriage. Manipulated, lied into a marriage. You know what I'm saying? And as these red flags are coming up, I continue to, I left the marriage. I came back. I left the marriage. I came back. Like a dog who returns to his own vomit. So is a fool who turns back to his foolishness. You know what I'm saying? So each time that I'm getting the strength to leave this marriage, some manipulation is drawing me back. You know what I'm saying? Lies are drawing me back. You know what I'm saying? Promising that you're going to do this to draw me back. And I will go back every time. You know what I'm saying? Until the third time leaving the marriage, I finally gained enough strength by the power of God to leave this marriage and never come back. You know what I'm saying? So... And each time, each time and I'm out of these relationships, I go sell a bid, you know, I gain this new, but what I'm realizing now is each, each, each of these scenarios and each of these situations was giving me a different type of strength that I needed for what's about to happen for me moving forward. So to God be the glory through it all. I couldn't see it then because I thought I was dead, dying, hanging on a Baby, I thought I was dead, dying, hanging on a string, couldn't live, couldn't breathe, couldn't move, couldn't do nothing because the pain was so hurtful. But I understand that all of this pain had to be, had, I had to experience all this because of what's getting ready to happen. So I go celibate, I'm, I'm, I'm single, I'm, I'm healing. Each, each time I'm celibate, I'm single and I'm healing each time for a certain amount of time. So each time, whether I saw it or not, there was still growth. There was still lessons being learned. There was still wisdom being instilled. You know what I'm saying? Whether I believed it, whether whoever believed it, whether whoever not looking at my circumstances, I, God was still working behind the scenes, right? So this last situation, I w went celibate. I was single. I don't, I don't ever have a problem with being single. The problem is these people see who I am. They see what I bring to the table. They see the woman of God that I am. They see that I have all of the benefits and these people come and stick to me and cling to me like glue. I'm not looking for nobody. I'm never desperate. I'm never out searching. I'm never out looking. I'm never out. None of the above. You know what I'm saying? So the this last situation that I, that I was in, I believe that I was going to marry this person, right? So some things hit the fan. God ended up calling me to California. I ended up breaking off this relationship. And, you know, through manipulation, I ended up coming through manipulation. I ended up re um, going back to this relationship after some time apart. You know what I'm saying? After, oh, we're going to work it out and we're going to do this. We're going to, you know, God is in the center. La, 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 blah, 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 blah. Manipulation and lies. Right. And so. <clears throat> Like a dog that returns to his own vomit, I went back and gave this person another chance. And so now here I am sitting in a situation that is the result of a Proverbs 16 and 12. I think it's Proverbs 16 and 12. Like a dog that returns to his own vomit, so is a fool that returns back to his own foolishness. <laughs> and so what I'm here to tell you is. When God delivers you out of, when you gain enough strength, when he gives you enough power, when he gives you enough might to back away and leave a situation that you know is not beneficial to your health. Do not be a fool. Do not be like a dog. And return back to his own vomit and go back to the things that made you sick. We're all guilty. If it's anybody on here that say they never did it, you're a liar and the truth ain't in you. You know what I'm saying? Have you grown? Have you do we do do we desire to get to a place to where we are no longer foolish and we we grow and we're butterflies? Yeah, that's why we're in metamorphosis right now. So that and 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 God said that this these situations had to hit us 
the way that they're hitting us now so that we do not return back to our own vomit because he wants to get us to a place to where we can grow where we can fly and where we can become free because whom the son says free is free indeed you are free from manipulation you are free from lies you are free from control you are free from all of those things because at the end of each and every one of these situations you understand that all of your help comes from the lord you know what i'm saying you do not look to the left you do not look to the right but you look to the hills from with cometh your help that X's out everybody in your family that X's out relationships that X's out sisters mothers brothers fathers you don't need anyone in your life you and God are the majority you and God are the majority and he's wanting me to say this there are some relationships that God ordains to be restored don't get me wrong there are some relationships that God ordains to be restored, but it has to be a God thing and it has to be transformation and it has to be, you know, accountability in those situations. And it has to be something that, you know, God is saying that it's supposed to be restored. And I will say this, I believed that this last situation was a God rest, restoring. So I said, God, well, I pray to you and I, I went to you and I, but God is a God of order. God is a God of order at the end of the day. Well, I prayed to you and I, I thought that this was it and I thought that, 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 that. It's the changing of the guards as well. Because when we get into relationships that are toxic and poisonous, any relationship, I'm not just talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm talking about churches, mothers, fathers, sisters, but I'm talking about any type of relationship. This is not just relationships. This is not just you know, man and woman, sexual, this is not, this goes deeper than that. I think the bottom line and the point is you have to get to a point of growth to where and people, and he's telling me to stop telling people your business. You know how like you have best friends and you have people that you can talk to and communicate. Yes, there are certain things that we can talk to certain people about and communicate about, but your personal life the choices and decisions that you're making, you know what I'm saying? What you're doing in a relationship and all that, keep it quiet because if there's somebody who indifferes the things that you're doing, they're talking about you. They're talking about you. They're talking about you to other people saying how stupid you are, how dumb you look, how if it was them, they wouldn't do that. And you know, if it was this situation, if it was me, I wouldn't. They're talking about you. This is what the Lord is telling me right now. You're being talked about. So while you pouring out your heart and you thinking this person is really, really all, all in on that. No, when they disagree with what you're doing, you're being talked about. You're being talked about. So he's saying again, once again, stop telling your business. Stop telling your business. Stop telling your business. So even though, you know, and, and when you're in these situations, and when you come out of like every situation that I've been in where I return back to my own vomit, every time you get in it, you be like, oh my goodness, I am the most stupidest person. I cannot believe how gullible I am. I cannot believe I let this person do this. I cannot believe I came back for a second chance. I cannot believe I'm telling you because we, and another thing is when you dealing with a narcissist and you leave a narcissist, every time you go back, they make you pay for leaving the very for leaving in the first place you know what i'm saying it's like it's a, it's a sick it's a sick mind game it's a sick it's a sick it's demonic basically they make you pay for leaving in the beginning so each time you go back it get worse and worse and worse you don't know that <laughs> until the lord open your eyes and reveals everything you don't know that but every time you go back it gets worse and worse and worse and worse a lot of us are in situations due to our folliness, due to our foolishness. It's foolish. And so in this hour and in this moment, the Lord wants to grow us up. The Bible tells us that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. 
You don't have to beat yourself up for returning. You don't have to say, oh, how stupid you are. Oh, because what we fail to realize in the moment is that God works everything out. He's using every situation to build us up to the point to where we are not to where you put yourself first, to where you don't have to worry about nobody, to where you loving on yourself so much, so cold. You so focused on the Lord that you ain't worried about nobody else. And you know that all your help comes, comes from the Lord. This is what these situations do for you. And that is why the Bible says that in the end, I will say it is good to be afflicted. All of these lashes, all of these beatings, all of this whooping that I have endured was for my good. It was to strengthen me. It was to better me. It was to encourage me. It was to grow me up, which is what the Lord is doing for us right now. It's to grow you up. It's for you to become more wise. It's for you to become more knowledgeable. It's for you to take these lessons and, and, and you know, wisdom and, and to learn it to not only to say, you know it. Oh, I know it. Oh, I, I, I done got it. I done gained it. No, you have to apply it to the situations moving forward. So do not continue to go back to the same thing that made you sick. The dog only threw up the vomit because it didn't sit well with his spirit. It didn't sit right with his soul. I know for me, when things hit me on, on a different level, like when my mom died, I, I vomit. I vomit, 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 vomit. Because it's something in my soul and my spirit that's just, it's just piercing. You know what I'm saying? When my cousin was murdered, I vomit. Uh, 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 vomit. You know, when God opened my eyes to the situation I'm in, when I left my marriage at the very, the third time after coming back, and my eyes were open to a lot of the things and a lot of manipulation and just like really what a narcissist was and all this night, I, I vomited, vomit, 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 vomit. This last situation when God really opened up my eyes and I saw that me returning back to my own vomit was folly and foolishness, I began to vomit, 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 vomit. I've been vomiting, throwing up. The situation is very, very sickening. And I can be transparent because I don't care what nobody think about me. I don't care about what nobody feels about me. I don't care about anything. I know that everything that I've been going through from the beginning all the way down is going to give God glory. Period. You know what I'm saying? Even from after mama died and the things that I saw in my family and the way we were treated, all of these things. It's all going to be used for God to get the glory. That's why the Bible says that. You meant this for evil. You meant to harm me. You meant to harm me. But God meant it for my good. For the saving of souls. Up to this very moment. Oh, I'm spitting. <laughs> <laughs> because it was meant for the saving of souls at this very moment. At this very moment. Grow up. Stop returning back to your own foolishness. You threw it up in the first beginning because it made you sick. Stop going back to the things that made you sick. Stop going back to the family members. Stop going back to the friends. Stop going back to the work environment. Stop going back. Stop continuing to tell people all your business. Allow God to prepare the table in the presence of your enemies. There's an audience. People are watching you. And they may be laughing right now because of where you are. And they may be have, they may seem like they have the upper hand because they played you, because they manipulated you, because your heart is so broke, because you don't know whether you coming or going. You don't know the front, the at the back, the beginning, or the end. But to God be the glory. He's working it all out in your favor. They meant it for evil. But God is turning it around for your good. All things work together for the good to them who love the Lord and who are thee called. Baby, you better know that worse. You can spit it. You got to spit it like bars. I don't look to the left nor to the right, but I look to the hills from which cometh my help. Yeah, I was played. Yes, like a fool, I returned back to my own vomit. This is transparency, you guys. Not everybody can be transparent. Not everybody can sit on this camera and tell you all of the faults and the things that they've done and the things that they're not proud of and the things that they're ashamed of. I can. I can. Because to God be the glory, baby, there's wisdom being produced here. You know what I'm saying? There's virtue being produced here. There's a leader being produced here. There's a minister being produced here. 
There's an inspirational speaker, a motivational speaker being produced here. None of this stuff would be produced here hadn't all these experiences worked out for my good. Am I tired? Yes. Am I frustrated? Yes. Am I upset with myself? Yes. Do Am I full of regret? Yes. Am I full of disappointment in myself? Yes. Yes. Am I angry with myself? Yes. Yes. But I'm human. This is life. And none of it is in vain unless I, all of it is not for vain unless I, not for vain, am I saying for vain? None of it is for nothing unless I turn this pain and turn everything that has happened to me until I turn it into power. That's the only way it will not be used for God's glory. And he knows it's going to be used for his glory. I can't give nobody but glory. I'm going to be delivered out of the situation. I'm going to be set, I'm be set free. I'm going through my process. This is my process. This is my process. And I'm sharing it with you on today. I have been like a dog that has returned to my own vomit time after time after time after time. And each situation has given me a little bit more strength. Each situation has built me up even more. Each situation has created such a different type of beast to where I'm right now to the point to where I surrender. And that's the ultimate goal. I surrender. I surrender. I can't do it no more. I can't do it in my own strength. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm at the end of myself. Here you go. Here go all my addictions. Here go all my faults. Here go all my wrongs. Here go the vomit. Here goes the people. Here goes my family. Here goes my children. Here you go. You can have it. <laughs> you can have it. I don't want it. Do what you want. Do, do what you will, Father God. And that is the ultimate goal. So like a dog who returns to his own vomit, so does a foolish person who turns returns back to his own folly. Stop, grow, learn, gain the wisdom, gain the knowledge, gain the understanding, stop having sex, stop partying, <laughs> stop getting drunk. I didn't say stop drinking. You gotta talk to the Lord about that. That's personal. You know what I'm saying? Stop gossiping. <laughs> Stop hanging around the people who you know don't mean you no good. Stop going back to the family functions. Each time, I would still continue to go back to the family. Every time, even with my family, after I knew what they had did to me and my sisters, what was done to me and my sisters, after mama died, I still would go back. And every time I would go back into a situation or back to a family function, the only thing that was shown to me was the reason why I had to leave them in the first place. That's, that's it. I was hurt again. You keep going back to your own vomit, girl. I'm showing you these people so that you can cut them off. I'm showing you who they are. This last situation with a family member, I had to borrow some money. Down on my ass. Did not want to. Pray to God. I cried. I kicked. I hooted. I hollered. I don't want to have to call them. I don't want to have to ask them for no money, God. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. Me and my kids were down to nothing. AC out. Y'all already know that for months on end, whole summer. AC out. You know what I'm saying? Battery on my car, dead, gone. I had to ask this person for $200. I told this person I would give the money back October. I would have it all paid back by October the 1st. Last, last week or a few days ago, this person ended up texting me. I haven't heard from you. You said you was going to pay me back. What happened? What? <laughs> what, ma'am? Ma'am, what? So I had to take a screenshot of the message. It's not like we talk often. So my thing was, if you weren't sure, or if you didn't know, or if you forgot, or whatever the case may have been, you should have just looked up real quick, looked at the message, and just double check to see when I said I was going to pay you back. Instead of assuming that I... I'm ignoring you because you believe I'm not going to pay you back. When I'm a woman of my word, I've only asked you for one thing years and years ago, and I paid you back on time. I've never flunked out, and I've never. I owe one more person. I owe my sister $300, and when the Lord gives that back to me, I will pay it back because the Bible says, oh, no man, nothing but to love him. 
So when I'm able, I'm going to pay her back and I'm going to pay this person back this $200. You assumed that I wasn't going to pay you whatever you thought, however you thought. And when this money is paid back, the relationship is to be severed and to be cut off like a fool. Stop going back to your own, like a dog that returns to his own vomit. So does a fool who returns back to his own foolishness. You don't have a relationship with these people for a reason. You don't have a relationship with these people for a reason. And every time you keep going back to your own vomit, you're going to re-injure yourself and you're going to get sick all over again until you get it, until you grow, until you become wise, until you understand. So that's where I want to leave it. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not upset. I'm God is working with me on, you know what I'm saying? Being angry and disappointment. I don't, I don't hate nobody. I don't any of that, but time is out for everything. Cut these people off. This is a season of, you know what I'm saying? Um, isolation. There's nobody. There's literally nobody here with me except these kids and God, nobody. And it's okay. I'm not desperate. I'm not lonely. I'm just alone. I don't want to be with nobody. I don't want to be around nobody after all that I've learned. And I'm not saying that everybody is like this, but you have to be in a season of isolation and a, a season to be set apart so that you can really, really, truly understand these lessons and gain this wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that like a dog, you will not return back to your own vomit. That is the goal. And that is where I am right now. And I can be transparent enough to say that. So to God be the glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.